A globalized world poses to educational institutions the following realities and challenges. 1. The local and global environment is intrinsically interconnected. 2. Local, private, social, and public sectors have an increasingly international and intercultural dimension. And 3. There is a need for institutions to counteract the negative effects of globalization at the local level. To what extent does an educational institution give pertinence to its substantive functions in accordance with these realities and challenges? To what extent does the international and intercultural dimensions of the community mirror the international and intercultural dimension of the educational institution? The degree to which this is achieved demonstrates the pertinence of the functions and activities of the institution. Due to this reality, it is imperative to work on institutional internationalization systematically, strategically, and comprehensively. It is necessary to make internationalization and multiculturalism alive in the daily activities of campus. Carlos Tunnerman, a specialist on higher education in Latin America, notes that internationalization of education contributes to a greater understanding among cultures and nations while laying the foundation for what is needed most in the current state of globalization, human solidarity and respect for cultural diversity. Marcelo Suarez Orozco, Dean of the Graduate School of Education at the University of California, Los Angeles, says that education will mediate the forces of globalization in ways that really it has never before been called to do. In this regard, we believe that international education is a means to counter the negative forces or harmful effects of globalization. Given this reality, internationalization and interculturalism are concerns and issues relevant to the educational policies of many countries that require a higher education system to meet the needs of a globalized world without neglecting the local. Among the main reasons to work on comprehensive institutional internationalization are the following. To become a site of preparation for a globalized world. To prepare globally competent students and staff for the benefit of their communities, states, and countries to become a site of global student and staff mobility, to become an international hub of people, ideas, knowledge, and research, to improve institutional quality, to improve the image and status of the institution at a national and international level, to attract international students, to meet the demands of local, social, private, and public sectors, to collaborate with other institutions both nationally and internationally, and finally, to offer educational services internationally. We'd like to close this video with a quote from Stur Bergen, head of Council of Europe's Higher Education Department. Higher education must educate the whole person, and in our age and time, this cannot be done without opening the horizon of each individual to the world that lies beyond our immediate neighborhood. Higher education cannot fulfill its role unless it internationalizes. To learn more about how to implement C3 at your institution, please visit our website, usmixfusion.org, and you will have open access to the training videos and materials that support institutional comprehensive internationalization. Thank you for your attention.